Good morning and welcome once again to my YouTube channel, Pearson International. Uh, Pearson at Excel International Maths by Mr. Kamoto. And today we will be explaining example 17 of Pure Mathematics 3. And uh, we continue to learn how to differentiate trigonometric functions and before we can get to example 17 we need to remind ourselves that in the previous video we have learned that if y is equals to the cosec of x uh, which is one over the sine of x then dy dx is equals to negative cos uh, the cosec of x cot of x using of course the quotient rule and that one takes us to this differential and uh, we are told that you can use similar techniques to differentiate sec x cot x giving uh, you the following general results and at that point we just need to understand that um, if y is equals to the cosec of kx then dy dx using the general differential techniques and methods uh, all applied is negative k cosec of kx cot kx and um, if y is equals to the sec of kx then dy dx is going to be equals to k uh, sec kx tan kx remember sec is 1 over cosine of x and again using the quotient rule uh, approach you will get this and uh, if y is equals to the cot of kx remember dy dx is going to be equals to minus k cosec uh, squared of kx minus k cosec squared of kx remember we have seen this before and again, these are the general results that can help you understand example 17. So this very critical. Let this not escape your mind at any given moment when you shall be doing differentiation of trigonometric ratios. That brings us now to example, example 17 on page... Uh, 138 example 17 on page and we are told that differentiate y is equals to cosec of 2x everything over x squared and this one is simply um, a fraction that means there is a numerator and the denominator where u is the cosec of 2x and of course we know du dx is according to this minus 2 cosec 2x cot 2x and v is x squared and dv dx is going to be 2x these are some of the um, some of the inputs or ingredients we are going to use in this differentiation and according to the quotient rule dy dx becomes v which is of course x squared uh, x squared multiplied by the differential of the numerator which is minus 2 cosec 2x uh, cot 2x of course minus 
the u which is cosec 2x the numerator multiplied by the differential of the denominator which is uh, 2x all this is over x uh, the, the v squared and the v is x squared so x squared squared is x to power 4 we have to be keen after this step because you can already see that we have cosec 2x on this side we have cosec 2x on this side we have x squared on this side we have uh, x here uh, and, and therefore we can talk we have also two here and we have two here um, so at this particular point we may want to realize that x is common here and here and we can get it outside the bracket entire bracket so inside the bracket we have minus 2 cosec 2x um, of course there is because this one was x squared and we have x here so we have minus 2x cosec 2x cot 2x uh, minus um, 2 cosec 2x because now x is reflected here and there is entire uh, bracket there everything over uh, everything over x raised to power 4 having said that you can already see that this x will cancel with one x here and we have minus um, we have minus 2 minus uh, minus 2x uh -huh. uh, min minus 2 minus 2 cosec 2x 2x minus 2 cosec 2x which is um, which is similar or common in, in in this one because you can already see that we have two minus two cosec two x and we have minus two cosec two x so if we can get minus two cosec two x outside then inside the bracket we are going to have this x x cot two x uh, and of course, um, because of this minus, and because this is negative, and the negative is also reflect reflected here, so we have plus one. Close the bracket. Uh, everything over x raised to power three, because that x cancels with one x here, giving us x raised to power three. So at, at that particular point, then, we, we can say, I don't know whether we can simplify this further, but of course, yes, that could be what we were looking for. So at the end of the day, that is what we've been able to show. If you look at part B of, of the same, this is now dy dx. If you look at part B, of the same example example 17 part b if y is equals to the sec cubed x find dy dx so you're supposed to find dy dx and um we, we without um uh, further ado of course we need to understand that y is equals to the sec x raised to power three and what we need to use here is simply the chain rule whereby we differentiate the outer part and then multiply by the differential of the inner part so we say dy dx is simply 3 sec squared x multiplied by the differential of the sec the differential of the sec x which is just here uh, sec x tan x the differential of the sec x which is sec x 
tan x the differential of the inner part so the chain rule gave us 3 sec squared x multiplied by the differential of the inner part which is sec x tan x we have seen this before and therefore if we just rearrange this we are going to have dx dy dx being equals to 3 sec cubed x tan x and that is just like the final submission again we have been able to differentiate further trigonometric functions and this is just like it so again uh, this is example 17 on page 138 follow my youtube channel uh, pearson uh, uh, ed excel international math by mr kamoto uh, subscribe share widely and let us walk this journey of mathematics together all right